What's more Australian than a snag on a barbecue? Do you think in China on Chairman Bloody Mayo Day they serve a pavlova? This is a country of many cultures, Wally, so we should be serving kosher food, you know, vegetarian and Asian. Would you like us to do satay sticks? We can't do satay, there's the issue of nut allergy. Fried rice. I have a passion for directing because you start off with a book which has got written words in it, A director's role is to take those words and make it into a living, breathing piece of art which the audience is going to go on a journey. I love your facial movements, but just be careful you don't overdo the facial movements. I'm Chad Sharon. I'm from Birkdale in the Redlands. I'm playing Mayor Brian Harrigan, um, who's uh, the chairman of the Australia Day Organising Committee as well as his role in local council. I think I'm just like any other actor. I'm a ham and I love to get up and perform. (laughs) Jan, how long have you been acting? Probably from the time I started walking, truth to tell. Since I was about 21, I think. The playwright Jonathan Biggins has given us the various characters on the committee that at first glance look like stereotypes. But he very, very cleverly peels back the layers to let us see the raw flesh underneath. Then he puts those characters into juxtaposition with each other. And those stereotypes start to breathe and become very real people that you feel about. I'm Suzanne Kelly from Cleveland. I'm in it because I love it. I came to acting late in life. I've only been on the stage, so to speak, for the last three years. I'm playing Mari, the CWA lady, and she's been in the CWA for 30 years. That's her role and that's how she sees herself. I think the most confronting thing about Mari is the casual racism. She's, I think, almost unaware of her racism. She probably learnt it at her father's knee and it comes out rather thoughtlessly. In the circles that I move in, I don't see that type of racism as much. So in being a part of this play raises that whole issue of unconscious racism. To me, you just seem to slide straight into the role almost on the first rehearsal. It's a bit of a worry the way I slid into that, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) I I suppose. You're a good actor, (laughs) Suzanne. I've met a lot of um, Maries in my life. I work for Primary Industries and uh, did a lot of work in the bush. And I suppose... There are a lot of Maris out there, so I was channelling some of those ladies. I'll tell you what sort of country I'm celebrating. It's a country not run by do good at hair shirts like you. And it's a country that my father went to New Guinea to fight for. It's Roy Nunn from Wynnum. Oh, I love performing, I really do. I'm playing the character Wally Stewart. Wally's a bit of a redneck, late middle age character who's like a lot of males. He's adverse to change. The character self is totally against my view on things. So yeah, I have to act. I had a singing teacher who uh, suggested that perhaps I had a bit of a musical theatre singing voice. And so I went along for an audition with Savoy Yards in the Bayside, Wynnum area and got a role in uh, 42nd Street. I've never looked back. I got it into it at a late age, I was 60 years of age. Amateur companies all over Queensland are looking for actors, performers. They're especially looking for males, especially young males. Believe me, guys, I played top-level football. And I was in surf clubs and all the rest of it, so I've done the blokey stuff. This is a whole new life, and it can go on for the rest of your life. I'm 67 now. I'm Diana Gugulski from Daisy Hill. I'm playing probably the baddie of the role. I'm trying to look at her as not so bad. She's actually a single mother that's working really hard to do the best thing for her child, which happens to have an intellectual impairment. But the way I'm coming across, I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm trying too hard and I'm making a lot of enemies. Is that confronting to be playing a character that people might not like? It is, actually. I'm a bit scared of getting boos instead of claps. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> because when you're performing, I think you want people to like you. Sometimes I go home and I worry and think, oh, I, I sound like an ogre. And I think, well, I'm not that type of person. Although I think that she's not really a nice person, I do do things that she does. <laughs> I am a single mother and I do fight for the rights of my children. And I do sometimes come across in a way that I shouldn't. So um, it is making me reflect about how I do things too. So it's interesting and confronting, but real. The man is insane. No, he is not. Oh, he's out of control. Helen, he's been on this committee for the past 15 years. 
homing on Monday and reside at Rollings Point. I started off with the Australia Day plays at the museum, but I spent most of my time washing dishes. So I decided I wanted to change venues and became a member of Mates and uh, sort of got into stage managing and absolutely love it. I did start off acting, but I'm afraid I'm not that good at remembering lines. Jackie from Birkdale. I joined Mates about four years ago. I initially did a role on stage, but became um, very comfortable with organising the props and the actors. Do you have a day job as well, Jackie? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, full time. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a microbiologist. It's a very different mindset, but on the other hand, it's actually both require a bit of organisation. Kat, do you have any advice for first-time actors like me? Just jump into it. It's great fun. <laughs> and lights up on stage. <laughs>